Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how to change the text of any UI text using the script. So what I'm, I have is I've got main camera with main camera uh, tag. Uh, I'm going to remove the old script and save the scene and I've got main scene which is the main scene here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go to game object and create a new UI text. And here is the text and I'm going to make it bigger so we can see and best fit 100. Can we see it? Yeah, we can. So I'm going to change the text name to uh, text to something 1. And I'm going to create a new script and give it the name change text. And assign the change text script. Oh, it's taking some time. Yeah. Assign the change text script to the text game object or whatever you want. And uh, let's let's don't uh, assign to this one. Assign to something uh, to the canvas. So this assigning to canvas will be pretty much uh, like if we assign to text, it will be just like two two lines of code if we assign to the canvas it's gonna be pretty much couple of more lines of codes but it will be more understandable so what we have to do we have to use the unity ui library so to do so we just write unity engine.ui and to uh, when we use ui that means we can access the ui components of any game object so i'm gonna create a new game object public game object changing text and and what I will do I will just create another button so when we click on that button it's gonna change the text of that game object so I'm gonna go to canvas and UI button make it bigger C H A N G E change to 2 so when we click the button it's gonna change to 2 I'm gonna save the scene, go back to mono develop and public game object. Oh we don't need we don't need button in the script. Just what we we have to do, we have to create a new method public void oops text change and what we will do we will just what we have to just write couple of lines of code or maybe one so we just need c h a n g changing text to get the text component of that game object we have to use dot text which we can't access because it is game object if it's public we can use text so that means the text game object that text component if we use game object I will show you how to use game object and change the text for game object as well so just for now we use text then we can get the text of that game object the changing text is the text component of the game object and text is the this box is equal to 2 that's it that's what we have to do and I'm going to show you how to do this with the um, uh, with the game object if we use game object here. So I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Control D, and uh, here's another text, which is public public game object. Changing text to so to get the text component of the game object what we do is changing text to dot get component first we get the text component of the game object text so so this whole means this thing because this is already text and this is game object and now dot text is equal to to save the script go to 
uh, unity and I'm getting errors and we don't have to worry about these errors and to call the method when we click the button what or press the button or touch the button what we do we go to on click uh, com, uh, button component of the button and add a new on click event into our button and we will get the game object with which the script is attached so it which is canvas and go to no function and change text to text change so this is the script attached to the canvas and text change the game the method we are calling so when we click the button it will call this method okay so we got two things left changing text is the text one and changing text is the text two if we hit play everything is okay change text it's two two and again it won't work because it's already two so yeah this is how we change the text of any game object using the script using the code so if we if you are using public text i mean text that means you have to just write this if you are using game object then you will have to get the component of that game object before changing the text so that's all for today thanks guys for watching if you have guys any questions please write down in the comments below i will see you in next video bye